Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 5th of 2023. Well, it is titled Blue Supermoon Beyond Syracuse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see the full moon from the end of August, just a few days ago. And this was the one of the 13 full moons of 2023. Now the moon takes about a month, 29 and a half days to go through its cycle of phases. So generally that times up with a month and you get about one full moon each month. However, when a full moon occurs right at the beginning of a of a month, it's also possible in some cases to have a full moon occur at the end of that same month as well. And that is what is sometimes called a blue moon when two full moons occurred during the month of August this year. And now the blue moon does not refer to the color of the moon. The moon will look just like it normally does. Now it was also called a supermoon. A supermoon occurs when the full moon occurs near perigee. Now perigee is the closest point to Earth for the moon in its elliptical orbit. So when the full moon occurs near perigee, it's a little bit closer to us and it will look a little bit bigger and brighter in the sky. And we sometimes call that the super moon. So here we had not only a blue moon, but a blue super moon actually visible just less than a week ago. Now a super moon itself is not actually all that rare. Uh, we will see several super moons typically in a year. So it's not that unusual that we will get a couple times where the full moon will occur close to that point of perigee. A blue moon, on the other hand, is relatively rare, only occurring every few years because of the length of the cycles. As, you're, as I mentioned, 29 and a half days is the cycle of lunar phases. So if you were going to have two full moons in a month, it happens to happen very early on either the first day in a 30 uh, day month or on the first or early on the second day for a 31 day month in order for two full moons to occur before the month ends. So unless that happens, you would have only the one full moon in the month. Now putting the two together is a more is far rarer. That does not happen as much trying to get a super a super moon that is also a blue moon. And in fact, the next time that would occur is not for uh, another 14 years in 2037. And that will occur in uh, January and March of 2037. So hopefully you got a chance to see the super blue moon uh, that occurred just le less than a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for September 5th of 2023. It was titled Blue Supermoon Beyond Syracuse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sky in Motion. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.